Hey guys, how we doing? We are back playing some more Durango. How we going guys? Okay, so uh, a little bit has happened since I um, last uploaded a video. So went ahead and um, did a lot more grinding, trying to upgrade my weapons and things like that. You know, obviously we're still not there and I was sort of trying to get my head around the whole skill tree kind of thing. And now that I'm sort of level 30, or 33 now I should say you know it's getting to that point where I need to start sort of focusing more so on selected skills I guess and I think you know the in, in the grand scheme of things as well you know the the whole game is sort of focused on um, you know your multiplayer uh, clan system and obviously um, the skill tree you know obviously um, dinosaurs capturing uh, base building aside, that sort of stuff. There's really a whole emphasis on trying to, you know, maximize your character, um, and you know, obviously trying to get to a progressional status within the game that you can, you know, confidently, um, you know, you don't have a sort of bottleneck or anything like that. So up until this point, and for a lot of these skills that you do see here, a lot of it that I, I try to sort of evenly balance and distribute my my skill points and things like that to try and sort of give myself, you know, an even buff. Um, but obviously now learning this and discovering that you know, the best way or the easiest way, I should say rather, is to um, join up with a clan and uh, use rely on your clan mates for their expertise in strength areas so such as you know whether it be in um, gathering attributes um, uh, butchering processing cooking all that sort of stuff and then obviously if you want to or if you've got someone that specializes in uh, weapon making and tools so you know for example this they've got a high high skill level with this so with that for them they can you know potentially create better weapons for the rest of their clan and then you obviously take what they make or whatever and if you were to be a better uh, cooker then you know you would have your attributes and skills increased to the maximum so you can provide um, you know better food things like that or you know tailoring so if you want to be a better um, tailor so you can make um, you know better clothing armor and all that sort of stuff then obviously you'd want to specialize in that so I'm sort of try. I'm sort of in between what I really want to do, and I haven't really sort of gone down the right pathway myself. And if I go ahead and select one of the skills here, just to sort of give you a bit of an idea here, you know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of skills that you can pick, and depending on what you specifically want to specialize as an individual. So if you want to go all out on, uh, you know, spears or um, uh, or longer range weapons, then you would want to go down this pathway. And if that's the case, then it's not just um, the weapon attributes that you've got to be sort of mindful of. So if you want to go back and then you want to go into melee, for example, then you've got this, then you've got your two handed, one handed, uh, combat stance, uh, melee specialization, um, and then so on and so forth. So there's there's ways that you've got to sort of evenly distribute your um, your skill points and where you want to strengthen in that sort of area and attribute. And now the, the, the great thing that the game has done, sorry, the developers I should say, is giving you the ability to learn and unlearn um, certain skill points. So obviously there are some that you can't, and just to reference that, you want to go say anything that's auto, you can't unlearn. They're going to be automatically learned because you have to learn them in the game. So it is what it is. So then if you go here, there are some options here that do block you and prevent you from unlearning it as well. There are some exceptions to that rule that I've noticed, but there are a lot of them that you find. So long as it's um, the auto is not blocking you from a prior um, uh, skill attribute, from what I've seen, quote me if I'm wrong. If for more, uh, for some of you more experienced guys that have played a lot longer than I have, um, that's what I've been able to sort of um, see and understand. Um, even if you want to focus on, you know, this type of range of weaponry. So if you want to go into the bow side of things, 
so you can get up to you know pro uh, 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 sorry crossbow or classbow whatever it's called here um, it's up to you guys how you sort of want to do it but this is where jumping into a clan which I see a high level of importance for the rest of you if you guys are going to be sort of you know um, uh, at a point where you're just sort of grinding and grinding over and over and you don't really have anywhere to go and it just doesn't seem like it's a um, or you feel like it's a never-ending process and you can't really sort of get you you know to another area or level it's just it just makes life hard and that's where you know I'm going to be looking at clans for myself um, I'm not going to go make a clan I don't think I'm going to go ahead go that far so I want to join up a clan um, and learn off uh, people that have been involved in the game a lot longer than I have so especially you know through the beta now that the game is actually global there's going to be a lot more plays on this game so it has been um, pretty much well received and yeah if everyone's sort of jumping on board you do see some other um, other higher profile youtubers doing uh, their thing as well I mean me ooh, nice let's just report that and level up perfect okay and I'm just gonna get out of there because I do not want to be sitting there and then having what one two three four five six seven possibly eight over raptors wanting to you know attention uh, themselves to me so we're gonna go ahead and go to the next island so we are on the uh, temperate island and we're just going to go through the little mini sections here um, and finish off the mission and things like that. So I figured we, you know, uh, I'd take you along with me today. We'll do this. And yeah, I just wanted to sort of discuss a little bit about the skill tree and what you guys think. Um, what you guys think I should be focusing on. Let me know in the comments. I'll be interested to know. For me, I'm just thinking possibly just creating, um, uh, or sorry, getting on a high level to craft high level weapons or quality of weapons um but it really comes down to yourself as well because you can be you know you, you could go ahead and create yourself a um you know a character that has high level creating of weapons and things like that but you may not necessarily be the person to uh more or less go okay um I'm just going to just create a high level of items and just use them for my own will or for my clan or anything like that. But rather than, rather than that, you can pretty much um, start selling things. You can be, okay, I'm going to be a master crafter of, of, of any sort, but I'm going to make my money, you know, on the, on the market side of things. So if you want to go onto the island market, you basically just, you know, start selling your, your, your items, I guess. And making yourself a bit of money how you sort of use that or distribute that is obviously entire entirely up to you guys everyone will have their um their motives and you know why they, they're going to do what they're going to do i guess at the end of the day so i, I you know my, my belief is i think it's probably a good time for myself to you know jump into a into a clan and you know I can try and offer them something that they may not have and they can offer me what I don't you know currently have or possess so it's obviously a win-win for everyone and it's just you know pushes us into uh, further, further territory into the game and we can hopefully you know expand on that that's basically where it's at and I hope I find a, a decent clan that's going to help me out and I'm going to help them out at the same time so um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see what happens. All right. So right now we, I am sorry, trying to find a Mary tree because that's going to be the quickest and easiest way for me to progress onto the next island and finish off today's little mission. So I need one more, actually, one more leaf. And also, uh, um, now that the game has gone global, I think there's some decent little. Um, daily login rewards or rewards for um i think maybe the pre-registration or, or for beta access i have no idea but anyway managed to get a decent backpack and i've got 190 slots so i'm pretty happy with that 
And I guess at this point, I mean, I've been hoarding a lot of material so I can start crafting and getting better in terms of, um, you know, uh, crafting in general. So that's probably my, my go for now until I get into a clan and, um, and work out what type of skills I want to invest in. I think that's probably going to be where I'm going to go for now until, you know, I obviously jump into a clan and, you know, they tell me what I should be doing or helping me out with, you know, with that sort of stuff. So, you know, I guess we'll see. All right, so we are warping over to the next island. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we have some uh, decent materials that we can find um, or, you know, or we'll just, you know, breeze through this, um, through this little mission so I can just claim all the mission points and experience and whatnot. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully. All right, so... All right, so one step ahead of us, of course. All right, so what do I need? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and find more uh, married trees. So I'm definitely not going to go on any sort of stick stores uh, hunting because knowing my luck, I'm going to just going to fail and die. So before I go ahead, so I do have a, a whole lot of leaves and whatnot now. So I'm just going to, yeah, as you can see, Let's just grab all of that and drop because I'm just going to pick them back up again through other trees. So I don't think you can actually go back and pick one up. And will that be a point? No, it doesn't. Okay. I thought as much. Anyway, uh, so let's just dump that. Perfect. I thought I'd be cheeky to see if that would work. And bonfire? Well, you know what? No one was there to pick it up, so I kind of take advantage of that. Which is probably wrong, probably not the right thing of going around, uh, you know, about that. But hey, if it's there, it's there. And if no one's sitting around wanting to grab it, oh, I'm sorry, guys. It is the, um, it is a uh a survival game after all so <laughs> all right so mary tree let's have a look where are you oh there's one just a pain they only come with two leaves but then again it makes a whole lot of sense you got to really you know try and um search for things so and at least that way you sort of discover the island at the same time um okay Leaves are there. Okay, and how are we going up there? Okay, so right, if I just keep going up, that should be fine. Uh, that's another one there. Yeah, so, so far, I mean, a, a lot of my videos right now are more resource and gathering I guess um, there's only so much that we can do right now oh I, I don't have the shovel do I I do but I don't have a high level shovel okay well that's fine I'm not gonna worry about that today um, so yeah so these stegosaurus yeah 2800 and 4700 okay that's not going to happen unfortunately guys as much as I want to try my luck on that, I doubt that I'm going to survive one. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's find a some more Mary tree. Uh, that's one there. Perfect. Okay, let's grab that. And I need one more, one more tree. Okay, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle, I guess. Nope, poisonous tree, or poisonous tree, poisonous tree, poisonous, poisonous, um, okay, not having, oh, there we go, 
and the one will do. All right, so mission's completed. Fantastic. Okay. And what do I get for my troubles? Just the exp exp. Okay. So I think that will probably go ahead and do it for today. I think we spent long enough on this one here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go to another island next video. So stick around for that, please. Um, I haven't actually looked at it, so we're gonna suss it out together. And yeah, we'll um, we'll see how that all goes. Anyway. If you guys liked what you've seen today, uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button as much as you can. Just want to get the video up the recommended, um, uh, you know, uh, ladder there. So, especially now that the game's global, everyone's watching it. I really, really would love it if you guys can, you know, help me out with that. That'd be very much appreciated. If you guys are new, if you are enjoying Durango yourself, uh, go ahead, hit the uh, subscribe button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. And comment guys, let me know how I'm doing. Any tips for me, let me know all of that in the comment section. Alrighty guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.